you're about to learn how you need, you can keep your heart pure with the word of God. What up, beautiful people? It's your boy Mundus, and I want to welcome you to the Shiny Life family. This is a place where we study the scriptures every single day, looking into God's word and how, how we can live a successful life, how we can live the, the life of the word. And I'm back again with another beautiful daily devotional from Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris. Um, this is the number one devotion in the whole world. This is the devotional we use every single day to go through the word because it's the best it is. So if it's your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss a single devotional. It's going, I mean, a single word from God is going to bless your life. Every single day, God has a specific word for you and you want to be a part of this. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment. Watch it to the end too because I want to pray with you. I want to, I want to pray with you and join in my faith with your faith. Um, no matter what you believe in God for, you know, he says when two or more ask concerning anything, I will do it. So it is important. So let's get into it. We're talking about keep your heart pure with the word. And our theme scripture is from the book of Matthew chapter five in verse eight. It says, blessed, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Wow. That's amazing. Let me read the first paragraph. Pastor Chris says, as a Christian, you are a sanctified vessel called to live righteously unto God. Iniquity or evil shouldn't be found in your heart. You must keep yourselves, keep yourself and your heart pure with the word of God. And this is important. Um, you know, we live in a life, we live in a world where there's so much, um, thoughts um ideas people's opinions people's issues come to you and affect us because we you, you don't live in isolation i mean if you if you live in this world you either you either live you either in a family or you either go to work or you go to school or you re, basically you relate with other human beings now and 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 number one not everyone is a christian and number two we live in a world where there's so much evil it is everywhere. It's on TV. It is everywhere. Whenever you, wherever you walk, so it's easy for you to to assimilate or to get these ideas in your heart because ideas are things. You know, thoughts are things. He said, thoughts are things, and they come through. You know, this this reminds me of that scripture in, in the book of Proverbs. It says, "Guard your heart with all diligence, because out of it are the issues of life." So evil. I mean. All these are wrong thoughts and evil desires and evil things can come from the thoughts. Let me find the scripture. Let me find the scripture. Hold on a second. I'm trying to put things together. Let's find the scripture first. Um, actually, I'm reading the book of Proverbs chapter 4. It's a beautiful uh, it's a beautiful chapter. Hmm. I'm feeling like reading the whole the whole of that chapter cuz it, it kind of applies to us. It talks about wisdom. Actually, you should just go read the whole chapter. It's a beautiful one. Talks about wisdom, how wisdom is the principal thing, but I don't know. I want to stay on topic. Let us go to verse. Let me start from verse 18 because I like it. It says, for, Proverbs 4, verse 18 says, But the path of the just, the path of the just is as the shining light. If you want to find out how we got our, the name for the channel, there you go. It says, The path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more onto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They don't know what they stumble. Then he says, My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear to my saints. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. For they are life unto them that find them and health to all their flesh. He says, Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth. Perverse lips far from me. Let thy eyes look right let the eyes look straight before thee ponder the path of thy feet let all thy ways be established turn not to the right or the left remove thy foot from evil he says protect your heart because that's where the issues of life is and we're talking about how you can keep your heart pure with the word of god if you put the word of god in you and don't let the wrong desires the the, 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 wrong, the wrong things get in you can have a pure heart, but you can't accept everything. So people, it depends who you're hanging out with. What are you watching? Who are you, who are your friends? Who are you associating with? 
because those things can corrupt your heart because if you don't protect your heart they will just dump in their evil thoughts on you all the things you watch will just be evil be put in you and it is, is it says an evil uh, an evil man brings out evil from his heart so you don't want to put evil in your heart you need to protect it you need to fill your heart with the word of god this is what we're talking about pastor chris says if you have been if having been born again your heart is still full of lust for evil things something is wrong there has to be a change make up your mind about it you will need to have sessions of meditation and fasting without further delay it says if you having definite evil desires then they sign wrong you need to fill your heart with the word of god meditation and filling your heart with the word because the word of god will control it this is not this is beyond you making up your mind to say i'm not going to do the wrong things no 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 this is not you trying and he said evil would not have uh, sin would not have dominion over you and number one the word of god can change anything the word of god can 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 wash you he says jesus told his disciples you are clean by the word i've spoken to you the word of god can cleanse you cleanse your body cleanse your spirit cleanse your soul and if you fill your heart with the word of god those evil desires will vanish they can't stay because the word of god is light and when you turn on the light the darkness has to flee so that's important the word purifies the mind and spirit god desires to take you to the next and higher level in your walk with him you know this is amazing why the spirit of god is telling us this because we, he wants us to run faster we are going to the next level and now he's optimizing us because you know in um he reminds me of scripture when jesus said i am the vine and you are the branches he says when you produce fruit my father prunes you so that you can produce much fruit maybe let's find the scripture let me find the scripture it's important um oh beautiful beautiful i'm reading the book of john chapter 15 let me start from verse 1 it's going to be a long read but it's important jesus says i am the true vine and my father is the husband man every branch in me this is every branch in me that beareth not fruit he take it away and every branch that beareth fruit he purges it that he may bring forth much fruit did you see that he says if the branch is not producing it is cut off he says but if it's producing god prunes you so that you can produce much more fruit he takes away the dead weight the dead waste that's stopping you from producing more so when the spirit of god tells us to to purify our heart it's trying to show us man we, we can get better we can get faster we can remove some things that are stopping us from making progress in our lives from achieving much and let me keep on reading from verse 3 says now ye are clean through the word which i have spoken unto you dear lord jesus see this shows you the word of god is beyond oh yeah i'm listening to the word of god to get facts of how to live a good life that, that's that's good but the word of god has a ministry and we hear we, we're reading here the ministry of purification the ministry of cleansing the word of god can cleanse you that's why it's important to listen to the word of god every day because it's like you're taking a bath because when you go out in the world and you hear the wrong things you see the wrong things even without you trying not to see those things the wrong images are, are, are bombarded in your mind and they go in your heart you maybe hang out with the wrong people they say the wrong things and you pick up what they're saying and then the, the wrong things get entered into your heart that's why it's important to have a cleanse a word bath i think there's a video about this such the channel we did a video on this i did a video on this about having a word bath uh, one of the devotionals pastor chris is talking about having a daily bath of the word so the word of god is beyond just studying it to know stuff it has a ministry and then that one of these ministries to cleanse you is to keep your heart pure purified purify your body not only purifying your heart it purifies your body cleans your body you don't think this is but i'm gonna show you the scripture actually it purifies your soul purifies your mind so if you're not taking a word bath daily, you 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 you'll be full with all these evil things. It's in the it's in the air. It's in the people you relate with. It's out there. The, you know the wrong things will just start creeping in your life. But you cleanse your heart. You protect your heart with the word of God. You fill your heart with the word of God. You cleanse. So Jesus says, "Ye are clean through the word which I have spoken to you." So the word cleans. And He says, "Abide in Me, and I in you." As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except you abide in me. 
you are, you need to be established in God's word. He said, if you're not in me, Jesus is the word of God. He said, you cannot produce fruit. He said, the, vine, the branch cannot produce on its own. It needs to be connected to the branch, to the, to the, to the vine. He says, need, same with you. You need to be connected to the source. And the source is the word of God. He says, I am the vine and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you cannot do nothing. You can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. Men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burnt. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. So shall you be my disciples. God wants us to produce results. That's why he's teaching us this. He's teaching us this. Uh, I wanted to show one more scripture about the word cleansing. So let's go to the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 10. And we're looking at verse 20. Yeah. Um, two, 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 two. Verse 22. It says, let us draw near. Let me highlight there. It says, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Did you see that? It says our hearts are sprinkled from a from an from e from an evil conscience. The word of God can cleanse your heart from evil. That is the pure water that can wash you from any evil desires and thoughts. And your bodies too. Did you know that? This is awesome. The word is more than spiritual. The word the spirit realm controls the physical realm. People think just because you can't see it is not real. We have the most real thing you can ever the word of god is more real than this world let me just put it out like that because the word the word of god made the made the whole universe and this whole universe is held by the word of god the earth the stars and the moons were made by god's word this is the most this is the real deal this is the most substance you can ever get and he says having your heart sprinkled from an evil conscience that means washed from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water your bodies too can be washed and cleansed man amazing amazing realities so let's go back here so see, i'm gonna read on it says the word purifies the mind and the spirit god desires to take you to the next and higher level in your walk with him but you got to let go of an ungodly lifestyle. This is awesome. So God wants to lift us. He says, but there's some things you need to let go of. I know what those things are. You know what God knows. The Spirit of God knows everything. And when he's telling you this, you, you know what you know. You know. You know he knows what you, you know what it is. I hope that makes sense. You know there's some things you need to let go of. Now you're a Christian. He says, let go of the ungodly lifestyle. The Bible says, where, where, where of seeing we are also compassed with so great of cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight. This is going to slow us down. Weight slows you down when you're running. It says, lay aside every weight and the sin which does easily beset us. Let us run with patience. The race that is set before us. That's Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1. We own a race. Imagine running a, real, a, a race and you have weights on you. You won't be able to win that race. That's why you see people that run, they wear the most lightest things ever. You don't see them running around with, 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 with cargo pants or with boots. No. They try to be aerodynamic as possible. You know what I mean? They have all these running pants, running shoes, so that they can be swift and glide through the air. He says, lay aside every weight. That's going to stop you. It's going to drag you down. He says, put it away. The wrong things that you were doing that you don't, you know, you need to stop doing. He said, you can't stop it. But meditating on God's word, the word of God will cl cleanse you, purify you. So Pascal says, what is, what's that weight? Oh dear, this is amazing. What is that weight that is not letting you run as effectively as you should in fulfilling God's plan for your life? What is that weight that is stopping you from achieving to being the best you? He says, get rid of it. Jesus said, For the prince of this world cometh, and he has nothing in me. That's in John chapter 14, verse 30. 
be sure that Satan has nothing in you. The devil has nothing in me in the name of Jesus. He says, whatever that way it is, you know what it is. It's time to let it go. And you can because he says, sin shall not have dominion over you. And the word of God purifies you, cleanses you. He says, Jesus said, you're clean through the word I've spoken to you. You're clean. Wow, wow. Uh, so pay attention to changes the Holy Spirit may be guiding you to make and receive corrections. It is all so you can fulfill his destiny for you gloriously without reproach. Refuse to allow any weight or sin cling itself to you so you can make faster progress in life. So even this is even beyond just saying you're doing the wrong thing. There could be some things that are just stopping you from making becoming the best you can be. It, it might not necessarily be sin, but it's a weight. You know some things are not helping you achieve God's plan for your life and they're just dragging you down. And it's time to let him go. And he says, the Spirit of God is came to teaching you and saying, hey, hey, you don't need this. It's time to let this go so you can run faster, so you can be God's best. Oh, dear Lord, I like this. It is so that you can fulfill your destiny gloriously without reproach. Refuse to allow any weight or sin cling itself to you. No weight, no sin is going to cling, cling itself to me in the name of Jesus. So you can make faster progress in your life. Remember the word said, sin shod shall have no dominion over you. That's Romans 6.14. The moment you say no, that is it. The, Psalms chapter 1 and 19 says, Wherewith where all shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed there too, according to thy word. It says you, protect, you clean your path by the word of God. All it takes is acting on the word. Right? So make it your life's work to live in the light of God's word. Glory be to God. This should be a desire to walk in God's light, right? Ah, man, amazing. So let's take this confession together. I want you to say this after me. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. His workmanship created to produce fruits of righteousness. I have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. Satan has nothing in me. Hallelujah. Nothing whatsoever. Glory be to God. And, I, and I'm going to add an extra confession. I lay aside every weight. I lay aside every thing that entangles. They don't cling on to me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I'm running faster. I'm running swifter. I'm running better than before. Producing much fruit in the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Wow, wow, wow. You can read further studies and just go deep into this topic in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1, NIV, Psalm 24, chapter 3 to 5, 1 John chapter 3, 3, Amplified. Make sure you go through these further studies because it will help, help you understand the message a little bit better and, and clarify some points that we have not covered in this video because we can't cover everything. But the Spirit of God will teach you the Word. Learn to learn the Word with the Spirit of God because He's the one that teaches the Scriptures. You know, So that's important. So I hope you've been blessed by today's devotional. I want you to leave me a comment. What are you going to give up? I mean, you don't have to tell me what you're going to give up. The Spirit of God knows what you need to give up. But make up your mind. You say you're going to run faster. Put your statement of faith. You say, I'm running faster. I refuse to let anything hold me bound or hold me down. I'm making progress in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory be to God. And I'll, I'll be praying for you shortly. But I want to pray. If you're not born again and you're listening to this, this is your moment. This is the change that you need to do. Jesus died for you on that cross and God raised him from the dead. And all it takes is for you to accept this and receive salvation. Salvation from your sin, salvation for your soul. So I want you to say this prayer after me and mean it with all your heart. Just say this after me. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah forevermore. If you said that prayer, 
congratulations you're born again so make sure you subscribe to this channel because you want to learn the word of god and this is the way we learn this is the place where we learn god's word daily so you watch your faith grow and understand this new life so make sure you do that and welcome to the family and i want to pray for everyone else that's watching that the blessings of god will remain upon you you are cleansed by god's word sin has no dominion over you no way to hold you bound because the lord has lifted you he has plucked you out of the mary clay and set your feet on solid rock established your path he has uplifted you the lord is lifting you even now you make progress nothing will stop your progress you will fulfill your destiny in christ in the name of jesus you walk in health you walk in strength no sickness no disease will fasten itself on your body you are alive and well in jesus name amen amen congratulations until tomorrow also before i leave make sure you go i'm uh there's a new video coming out from uh the evangelism conference so make sure you check that video out i'll be posting it soon so keep an eye on that if i'm not posted it yet just make sure you keep an eye on it. it's gonna bless you tremendously so till tomorrow it's been your boy mondays be victorious and prosperous in all you do god bless you